Hey guys, you ever been thinking about getting a Generac for your home and you don't have a clue on how to figure what size of one you need? Well, it's a piece of cake to figure that out and come on, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So guys, when you want to figure this out, a lot of people might say, well, you need to figure out what your uh, max draw is with your box. Now, what I mean by that is a lot of people have a 200 amp circuit breaker box. So if you do 200 amps times 220 volt input, that would be a 44 kW generator that you would need. But that almost never happens that you would need to pull that kind of power. So there's a much simpler way to find out what is the demand that your house has drawn uh, ever, the most it's ever done. And the answer is in the meter box, the meter base, uh, the meter where the power company comes and reads it. Not only is there a number there that tells you how much you've used each month, but there's also a number that flashes that tells you peak demand. So I'm gonna fly, bring you over to here and I'm going to show you this is up at dad's we just had his generac put in and if you will watch these numbers come by you will see that's kilowatt hour that's the number that the power company reads and then this one here the 20.50 kw that number is the peak draw demand from this house that means that is the most power that has ever been drawn out of this house at one point in time the peak draw so that's 20 basically 20 kw so you just need a generator that's bigger than that it's that simple guys so when you go to your meter you can look for that number to come by on my house uh, our peak demand is over 29 kw so the generator we have on order for my house is a 30 some k it's like a 31 32 kw at dad's house we installed a 24 kw so i just wanted to explain if you're even thinking about getting a generac for your home and you don't know where to start this is the place to start figure out what size of one you need All right one other thing that i wanted to explain i got some questions about was the transfer switch and how it works with a gener generator home generator in our case a generac well the transfer switch is the heart and soul of what makes an in-home generator work the way it does. So coming into this box, this is the transfer switch. There is power coming in to this box that feeds from the utility pole. There is also power being run out of the generator through this cable that feeds up in the transfer box. And then on the back side of this, the power goes out and goes over to your switch box that's inside that you turn your circuit breakers on to make everything work. Inside here, it senses the power coming in from your utility pole. When it senses that the switch or that the power is no longer there, it immediately starts turning, sending out a signal to turn on the generator, give it time to come up to speed, and then it flips a switch, disconnects from the outside world, and connects to the generator and allows a generator power to feed in through the to the house. And that's the way the transfer switch works. It's a really cool setup. And if you guys live in an area like we do to where we get power outages all the time and on the road we're on, we're usually out two or three days and it just takes a while. And so all of us around here are upgrading to home generators so uh, we can have our power while we're waiting for the power company to get over and get our service turned back on. So guys, just wanted to make this short video just to share this information that I have. I sure hope you find it beneficial. Uh, again, just a short video now, and uh, we'll be coming back again shortly once we get the propane tank installed and get uh, that hooked up. Uh, Q, our electrician, will come back and do the final testing and doing all the setup for the generator. And then my dad will have a backup power system all go 100%. Can't wait for that to happen. We'll follow up with another video real soon. Just wanted to share this little bit of information with you now. So guys, please, if you will, be sure to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And as I've always told you at Project Next, there's always one more. So we'll be back with you again real soon. You guys have a great afternoon and we will talk at you later. See you soon. Take care. Bye.